How you doing? Mr. Swords, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. Hop on in. Can you uh, let me in please? Yeah, I can. Oh, I we'll do one of these again. Yeah, do that. Got it. Where is it? So, um, here we are on a beautiful sunny day in Beverly Hills and everybody's been asking for a um, house tour. I'm not quite ready to do my own house tour, but what I thought I would do is take you on other people's houses tour. So we're gonna go and visit a few houses today in Beverly Hills that I think you guys are gonna like. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, is this the one, thank you. Is this the one that uh, I believe has ocean and city views from every room? It probably does. It's quite pretty. Yeah. So here we are in the living space. This is the, the living room and dining room uh, of this beautiful, beautiful architectural property here. Currently asking just under 16 million, 15 eight and change I believe it is. Uh, it's about 6,500, 6,600 square feet. And let's go take a look around, but look at this spe spectacular view. It, it really is quite special. This is quite spectacular. You see downtown LA. Century City is over here to the right of the kitchen. It's very modern, very sleek, clean. And I don't mean by that not dusty, uh, <laughs> non cluttered Clean design, yeah, it's beautiful, I'm isn't it? this is the refrigerator and freezer. Am I right? I am right. You are. And I'm sure this is the freezer section. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. So I've only just started to see these and they have such a great idea. Yeah, it's boiling water. Oh, does it come out boiling as well? Yeah, it's boiling oh, water. Wow. That's just what it is. That's the whole point of it. Ah. So there's a, There'll be a somewhere a unit that yeah, yeah. the water that comes out boiling. Very cool. Rarely do you need cold water over a fire. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I just presumed it was a, a regular tap. Do you know how I know it's boiling water? So <laughs> I have one at my house. The same way you know that your exhaust gets hot. That's exactly started. the same way. I uh, I didn't know what it did. The water came out. I touched it. It was boiling. It was. Ow! <laughs> uh, in fact, it wasn't out that I said. I think I used some other profanity. Some, some bleepy words. Yeah. I'm going to say this is a dishwasher. Oh, it is a dishwasher. You I'm know your say, houses. I'm going to say this is a dishwasher. It is a dishwasher. Do you know how I know? It's like my kitchen. <laughs> Funny. This is a nice little snug here, isn't yeah, it? This will be like a little, I don't want to call it a breakfast area, but relaxing, yeah, yeah. chill, barbecue. It's really pretty. So if I was buying this house, I would go and I would offer them some money for that house and tear it down because the last thing you really want to see is a roof like that. And I know some of you watching this will think I'm crazy, but a lot of people actually do that yeah. because that's the only thing that gets in the way of the perfect view. And tell people that may not know about um, the airspace rights that you have with some of these homes. Um, I'm not familiar with the airspace rights. In, in terms of the view, people aren't allowed to build. Oh, oh I thought you were talking about aeroplanes. <laughs> and you're say, what are you talking about, Adam? <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so there's always restrictions as to what you can and cannot do. Uh, for example, if somebody bought the land in front of us and wanted to build a skyscraper, they would never be able to because there are rights that come with few properties. Uh, you pay that premium when you buy it. And obviously if somebody was to come in and build a skyscraper, you lost your premium view and therefore you kind of get screwed. Spectacular view. I mean, this is incredible. More than 180 degrees. Yeah, it really is. Well, it goes all the way around, I mean, from the sides as well. Yeah. And uh, you could make that a little putting green if you want. So, okay. There's a fire pit. I don't know how you get to it. You have to down there, to it. down the side of the Oh, pool. there's a staircase. I see that now. <laughs> So this room will be air conditioned, set at the right temperature to keep all the wine nice. Yes, these bottles I'm going to assume are all empty. They're empty. Excuse me. We'll move your room. A little TV room. 
This is cute. Yeah, it's not really a movie room, but it, obviously you can watch movies in it. Cause oh, because this is only a small TV. It's a small TV. Yeah, yeah, go stand in front of it, show everybody how small it is. Small. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days I'm going to take you for a tour around my house. You'll see what a big TV looks like. <laughs> you lost me to the bathroom. This is the maid's room. Is it really? I'm or is assuming. Like a guest? It might be a guest or a maid's room. I love that shower. It's pretty, right? Yeah. It doesn't have a rain head. So let me show, show you something that would absolutely kill it for me. Okay. Are you ready? To me, this is one of the most important parts of the house. <laughs> the garage. Uh-oh. What would I do with this? Uh-oh. Yeah. You could maybe get one roly-poly and a few sets of wheels in here. That's about it. I mean, this is ridiculously small. For me, yeah. I mean, well, you would, you two would, minis. I was going to say, you would struggle to get two cars in here, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's not very big. Um, but let's see what the outside part of the situation looks like. Big long drive where you could potentially build this out and make a tandem. Yeah. But that's not ideal either. It's very narrow. This is really now yeah. small garage. I mean that that is a one car garage, isn't it? Yeah. Realistically. Yeah, because the types of cars that you put in here you've got to be very, very careful with. So yeah. You know people always comment about uh, about your nipples in your shirts. Oh god. Well Is this bad? No, this come see. <laughs> Do you see, see a resemblance, guys? It's, it's nipples. Do you see a resemblance? <laughs> Mine's gonna fit! Goodness gracious. That's so funny. Adam, what's the matter with you? Why, you? why do you look at these things? Beautiful light throughout this whole place. Yeah. Really nice. So that will be upstairs to the roof too. Yeah. Should we go there first? Or no, let's, let's, do, let's, let's do floor go. by floor. floor. Okay, so this is massage room, which is actually probably uh, just a, a little bit of a sitting area off the master. Let's see. That's exactly right. But it's, I think it's a great idea to turn it into a massage room. And this is beautifully done. It's uh, taking full advantage of the view, which as you can see is absolutely fantastic. Wow. A twinny shower. Now that is a shower. Oh so these God. are body jets. Nearly rain heads, not quite. So rain head is, it comes out of the actual ceiling and it just simulates like it's raining but powerfully like the rainforest. I mean that is an enormous shower. I don't know if it translates on camera but that's probably what 12 feet? 12 feet across? Yeah I would say that. And I, again I love this like just the, the fact they have a skylight up here as well. Oh wow. This could be a good uh, screenshot. If I get yeah it. yeah that would be hilarious. Should I get it? <laughs> Doing it for the thumbnail. Watch. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Open sesame. Thank you very much. A toilet whisperer. But the fun part is the gadgets. When you sit on the part, I don't want to go into too much detail, <laughs> and you activate the sprays, uh -huh. they have different temperatures, different, they have whirly ones. You might want to sit there all day, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> whirly one. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that was a serious washer dryer setup. Yes. They're expecting people to do a lot of laundry, obviously. I predict a spectacular view. And I promise I've never been in this house before. So it's all guesswork, but. I think it's a pretty safe guess, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so here's the problem for me. You come up here, you want a romantic evening, you get naked and look behind you. You have people watching you. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Multiple people watching you, in fact. But it's very nice, regardless. It's a voyeur's dream. Yeah, it is a voyeur's dream. But it's very, very pretty.
So now we're here still in West Hollywood and this house actually looks directly over the Sunset Strip. Wouldn't be my preference, but it's very appealing to some people. Um, about 5,000 square feet asking seven and a half million dollars. Let's go take a look around. Pretty master. Let's have a look. Steady. So let's take a peek out here. Probably fire pit. And of course a nice crane. You can see right down Sunset Strip here. It's a beautiful house, it's just my word in the wrong place. Yeah. Gosh. Gorgeous outside area. It is. This is this, this top is floor is very romantic, very suave. Let's see, how do I look? What do you think? Pretty good. I like it. Suits you. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's have a look at the bathroom. They like fire pits here. There's That's one cool. there and there's one right behind it. The straight through fireplace. Yeah. That's cool. I did see the bathroom through here and it looks like it might be quite nice. Let's see. You can actually have your bath here and be looked at by everybody in the hotel. Do you know what makes me laugh about this shower? Tell me. There's a sprinkler in there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Unlikely to burn. I was going to say, There'll yeah. There'll be sprinkled everywhere. I understand them being outside of where the water is. Yes, I do. <laughs> and a little closet. And a gun safe. Oh, a gun safe. Maybe they have guns. So I love the fact that you say this is just a little closet. Because don't forget, not everybody is as blessed to have a closet the size of most people's apartments as you are. This is true. This is a big old room. Okay, so let me clarify why I said it's a small closet. For a seven million dollar home, which is what this is, I think the closet should be at least twice the size of this. Because you would assume that somebody that has seven million dollars to buy a house with has a lot of clothes and you need room for that. And this is in fact a very small closet for a seven million dollar house. Agreed. That's my point. It's not. Please don't misunderstand that I'm saying it's a small closet. It's a large closet, not large enough for the price of the house. Absolutely. So now we're in Beverly Hills and it's very, very different as you can see. Uh, and I always say it's a privilege to live in the city of Beverly Hills because it's beautiful. There's no garbage, there's no nasty stuff to look at, everything is manicured and just pretty much gorgeous. So now we're going to go and look at a house in Beverly Hills and uh, we'll see the difference. I have to make a turn here if my phone is telling me, so let's do it. In a quarter of a mile, the destination is on your left. Okay, predictions. The best view yet? Yeah, because Beverly Hills, it's different. They don't allow you to build houses on top of each other the way that we were in West Hollywood. So this should be completely unencumbered. So let's see if I'm right. I'll let you lead the way with the camera there. So, yep, we was right. Now this is a much nicer view as far as I'm concerned. There's nothing in your way. You look over a tennis court. Um, I actually wouldn't like this either, but it's far better than what we've seen. For my personal choice, you know, some people like rooftops and air conditioning units. I don't. <laughs> You're so sarcastic. We are going to do, uh, I, I, we are going to do one of these days. It might take me a little while to get there. We're going to do a tour of my house. So stay tuned. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do it, but Adam, you've been to my house many, many times. Beautiful house. Do I have anything in my view? How would you Nothing. describe it? Uh, expansive, very, very, very beautiful. It's, it's cool, right? Yeah. There's nothing in the way other than this without the roofs. Yeah. 
I mean, you look over hillside and then what is it? Maybe like a three quarters of a mile, a mile the other side, there's other mansions. That's right, yeah. 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 Oh, and there's that one hoofing great mansion that kind of sits on the hill in that the middle. That belongs to Disney. There you yeah. go. Not quite sure where we are. This is an elevator, but... Oh. Master bedroom. Beautifully done. Taking full advantage of the view. This is nice. See, this already appeals to me much more than what we've seen. Have you seen the tub yet? There's the tub. No, I don't like the tub. It's a little bit old-fashioned. Well, it's an overflow tub, so what... Is it? Yeah, it's an mm -hmm. overflow tub, so the water comes over the top of you, fill it to the absolute brim, yeah. and it'll go down there, so, you know, it's, it's kind of fun and cool. Interesting shower. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, well, they economized. Instead of doing all the plumbing, they bought these ready-made units, and... Oh, okay, so everything is external. Yeah, they, they buy the unit and they bolt it onto the... And so what does this floor. do? Is this steam and everything? No. No? So these are body jets. Yeah. Right? These, they should move. Yeah. And yes, yeah, they do. They've just never been moved. Um, this is a hand mm -hmm. jet. And these are... His and hers. I'm not quite sure what's in here. Oh. There's a... Toilet and bidet. It's a strange configuration, isn't it? Strange. Round, it looks something um, round Chinese, corner. because yeah. in China and Japan they have these separators, which I like. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, here's the other shower. So oh, this looks like an actual... No, it's the same. So is it not a steam room? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a steam room, but, but it has the same... Yeah, same unit. Yeah. This is interesting. Uh, Hello. Hi there. Hi. Well, this is, look at this. Yeah. This is wild. It's wild. So we are here in the living room with panoramic views, Pacific Ocean, all the way down to downtown. I believe you can see downtown. She's Century City. Um, I'm not sure if you can see downtown, but regardless, absolutely spectacular. And this house is uh, $12 million and about 6,500 square feet, and we're in Beverly Hills, so uh, it's very, very beautiful. Let's take a wander through. This staircase is really special, isn't it? I've yeah, never seen this staircase like this. It if you really stand back, you can see it's art. Yeah. It's an X, it's a giant X. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so this is the kitchen, and uh, definitely a chef's kitchen. Very, very nicely done. Again, utilizing the beautiful views out the window. Uh, a lot of stainless steel here. So you have the cappuccino maker, you have stuff. I, I, don't, even I, was gonna to, say. I don't even want to start getting it. <laughs> I don't know how to boil an egg. So consequently, I'm not the best person in the world to describe a kitchen to you, but. I can vouch for that. I, I will tell you this, flames come out of here, it gets awfully hot. Um, they, are, they don't have the hot water spout. Maybe there's one somewhere else, another sink. No, maybe not. Uh, some people have never seen one of these. This is telescopic. So. Even I have one of those in my place. You well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know you invited me to your place. I've yet to visit, but I will very shortly. You'll have to. I'm going to sample one of your uh, barbecue veggie burgers. There you go. With corn on the cob. That's it. And, and here is a bathroom in case when you're in the kitchen you need a quick bath. There we go. No, this is for the, I'm assuming it's a... I don't know what I'm assuming. Why would you put a bathtub there? Why? I don't know. Very pretty. Lovely fireplace. Again, the same theme as the one upstairs. And uh, big high ceilings. Very, very nice. It's difficult to get the lawn mower down here to cut the grass. <laughs> but uh, as before, I'm assuming now that this Bait is... grass? Not, yes, this would be astroturf. No, it's real grass. No, I'm kidding. It is. A, it's astroturf. There you go. This is an infinity this pool. This is a real infinity pool because it gives the illusion of infinity. Very, very nice. That is a beautiful pool. All of these pools are making me want to go for a swim, though. If very, you look at the, the view of the house in the back, it's spectacular. You can now see the size of it. It's large. 
from the street it doesn't look very uh, impressive but this certainly is impressive and very very beautiful. Nice to meet you, Adam. So here we go. This is a uh, mansion in Beverly Hills, approximately 12,000 square feet, and if my memory serves me correctly, 14 million dollars. Let's take a little wander around it. Outside, and the reason we're outside, there's music being piped through the house, and it makes it really difficult to talk so that you can actually understand what I'm saying. And we get kicked off YouTube for copyright um, infringement. And we get kicked off YouTube for copyright infringement. We don't want to do any of that. So uh, we're outside this beautiful mansion here. Uh, this is the the pool and the spa. Uh, at the end, that's a guest house. Ignore this. You don't want to see that. That I guarantee was for a camera. They have cameras everywhere. Where there's a law in Beverly Hills. If you saw the the last one, you actually have to have cameras around the building, they're everywhere. So uh, that's for security purposes. Let's take a peek. Uh, breakfast nook. Kitchen. Let's go downstairs and see what's going on there. This is the elevator here. Uh, I don't know if it's here. No, it's on a different floor. But let's go take a peek. Uh, here we have the gym which is very nice. The movie theater, which is very nice. That's awesome, and what's through here? Uh, this would be where the equipment is, I would assume. Oh no, it's not. This is just a little bar and a sink. But this is really nice. This is a great space. 12 theater seats, I'm assuming they're electric. Oh, they have price tags on, so it's staged. But I'm assuming they're electric. It will be electric. Let's see. It's sitting one, let's see what happens. They are electric, but they're not plugged in. They do have the buttons. Hi! Uh, this is a room to lock your guests up in if you don't really <laughs> like them. Wine cellar, a little wine room here. Hold about 150 bottles of wine. Looking at it at a quick glance. Somebody wants to count them and make me wrong. Go ahead, be my guest. Sauna. You can tell by the door. There's a little sauna. And then uh, what else do we have down here? It's like a little maze. Laundry room. Sin. The washer and dryer. Another little room and a bathroom. I think this is actually a maid's room. This would be the maid's yeah. room because it's right next to the laundry room. This makes sense. Which is That's a decent space though, isn't yeah, it? Great. This is bigger than most studio apartments. What else do we have? Oh, more. Oh, oh, look. Here we're in the garage. Let's inspect. Now this is a garage that I could live with. So we could park 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cars in here easily, maybe more. Yeah. Yeah, you put one up there as well. But we've never been away from the street. It looks like a two car garage. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And uh, coffee room in the back, in case you want a coffee while you're looking at your car. Ooh, it's a big room. Wow, that is a big room. Yeah, this would be great. A little man cave down yeah, here. Yeah, man cave. Yeah, you put TV in there, watch the sports, enjoy your 
fancy cars. And yeah. This is nicely done. Yeah. Let's go take a look upstairs and see what uh, we can find up there. I wonder if the elevator is working. Can we try it? No. no I think it's probably switched it off. This is the gallery, the main staircase, very beautifully done. Nice wrought iron, matching chandelier. Come up, Adam, let's take a look. A be beautiful guest room or family bedroom here. This is not the master. Um, you can probably see that. Jack and Jill bathroom. I stand corrected, it is not a Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the closet for this, this room. I thought it went to another what you, bedroom. What do you think of the uh, closet? Um, I, think, I think the closet is absolutely fine for a child's room, it's great. <laughs> Why are you laughing? A child's room. What child needs a closet that big? Well, every child. Let's go further. Butler's staircase. In case you want to have your maid or butler bring you breakfast in bed, they would come up here from the kitchen. Ah. This would be the master, I assume, because the double door entry, the archway, which just says master. And if you were confused, you could always have it painted on the master. Let's go in. Shall we go to the bed or shall we go to the bad side? Let's go to the bad side. Wow, this is amazing. This is the Hills, and this is the way it's supposed to be. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So, um, not my cup of tea, however, beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And a lovely little patio outside. Let's take a peek. Totally private, totally gorgeous. No rooftops to look at other than your own. I like this house. This house is gorgeous. I can see you in this house. You can? I, That's because I'm right here in front of you. <laughs> I No, I could. I, I could definitely yeah, see is, you in this, this house. This is a me type of house. Mm -hmm. You know my taste. Yeah. From so the yeah. There's a modern bathtub. This is why I was saying wow. And this is how closet should be. This is, this is hers. Because I'm, I'm assuming again this will be a his and hers situation. The bathtub goes with the lady, and on the opposite side, I'm sure we'll find a fancy shower. And this will be the lady's closet for all of her stuff. It's not fitted for anybody yet, but it, it would be. But it's very, very beautiful. Let's go and see if we can find the man's side. But here it is. So this is the man's closet, which is, as you see, manly. Wouldn't be big enough for me, but it's nice. I you might have to check the ladies. Yeah. Or, the, or the child's. Yes, I could use them all. And then here is the man's shower, which is, mm, needs a little help, but still very nice. I love this, this entryway. It's into very, it. very yeah. um, au fait, mm -hmm. palatial. Yeah. Yeah, this whole place feels very regal. Yes, it's exactly what it is. So this would be another little bedroom with this bathroom. And, oh God, don't even look at this closet, Michael. You'll probably throw up in your mouth. Well, this is for you know, four-year-old, five-year-old. They so would decorate it accordingly. This is a baby room. It's nice, nursery. This is for your teenage kid. <laughs> A nice balcony out there. Very nice balcony out there. Adequate size closet for the teenager. Right? Decent. Nice and, uh, bathroom. Let's put the lights on and see what it. Oop. There we go. Let's take a look out here. Be careful if you come out not to tread on Mr. Snail down there. Snail, oh. Nice little water feature down there. So yeah, we haven't even... I was going to say, we haven't even seen this part yet. Yeah, this is nice. Again, nice and secluded. Really, you've only got that house up there. That, they can't see you anyway. Yeah. 
they're looking at your balcony. Exactly. It's nothing. Very, very nice house. And this is the formal living room, which will join a butler's pantry, I believe. Indeed it does. Let's go take a look at that. So this is called the butler's pantry and this is where uh, food would be prepared before it's brought to the table so it looks absolutely perfect. Uh, another guest room, lavatory and storage closet. Yeah, or, or where you want to hide your kids, you know. And that's it folks, so uh, let's go and in the... take a look down there. Alright, you want to do that? Yeah. I guarantee you if we show that and then don't show people they're going to go crazy in the comments. I know I would. Look at this pool. It probably has its, its entry. You need little steps. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the living room. Lovely. Nice little living room. And the restroom. And that goes outside. Okay. Little bathroom. Do you think this is two bath? Yeah, and the guest house says it'll be the kitchen. I'm assuming uh, most of the time guest houses like this, because it's Beverly Hills, they have to build them with separate doorways, so you can't call it residence. So this doesn't count as square footage. Oh, interesting. So this is just an add-on. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what does that get around? A property tax. Okay. And the property tax in Beverly Hills, trust me, is not cheap. Now, when somebody buys it more than likely they will put a staircase or they'll make this undercover so you can in fact walk in indoors but yeah. uh, you can't do it for the purpose of sale okay interesting nice little terrace out here well there's no kitchen so it's just a bedroom okay. so the reason that there's no kitchen is for exactly the reason i just said so right. it doesn't count as a habitable house okay so that's why they do that, and there'll be a, a bathroom there, I'm sure. Because this is quite roomy, it's nice. Yeah. It's a fireplace, it's, it's very pleasant. And of course, you look over the house, which from the back doesn't really look significant. No. And of course, there's a third level below that we're not seeing here. You can only see that from the front. So this has been a blast to do, running around Beverly Hills on this beautiful, beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed it. You got to see a few houses from the inside, not just the outside. And you also got to see the contrast of Hollywood versus Beverly Hills. And uh, this is gonna be the first of many, because we'll do lots of these mansion tours. Because, well, let's wait and see what the feedback is. If you like it, hit that thumbs up. And if you don't like it, go away. Kidding, subscribe. Still have two weeks left for the giveaway, producermichael.com. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Hit everything you can possibly hit. Do everything you can. Anyway, I'm out of here. See you later. Bye.